Firstly, thank you, church, for your prayer. If not for your prayers, I would not be standing here. Amen. Amen. And glory to the God. To our God. All the glory to God. Well, this is not really my title. <laughs> my title is will be the, the, uh, the what they call the ultimate summary. But you know, this is not this one. Oh, can I borrow a chair? Uh, uh, okay, yeah. okay. Can I have a chair? Yeah. Since I'm here and it's a personal demonstration, so I think it's important to have uh, something to look at. Just hang on. So, you, you, you guys heard, heard of accident, so not often you get to hear from the man himself. <laughs> so, now you're hearing from the man himself that had an accident. So, first, first, let's go to the facts first, before the story. If for those who don't know, I was nearly on the second, I was actually booked on the second flight that went to uh, the World Trade Second Building in 2001. But because of my change of uh, meeting in Boston, I did not board that flight. So that was September 11. Next, last Sunday was November 11. <laughs> it was also a day where Taobao and, and, no, and uh, I don't know, doing their big sale and in China or some other places also not because of the one 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 as a single day. But I don't know when I fell in Japan. Penny asked me to have a look whether I also fell on an eleven of a certain month of a certain day. But isn't that funny? Okay, uh, hang on. Okay, so a lot of people ask me what happened to you. I tried to say a nice thing while I fell on my face, blah, 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 blah. But then I said, forget it. Basically, anyone is a fei chai, fei guy. That is the most direct way of saying, for those who understand Cantonese, pokai, you guys know what it is, right? It's a very apt definition of what happened to me. And the definition of pokai, for those who don't understand, I will try to... Generally, next, Pokai is used to describe a person in a very bad situation, which I was. You know, a terrible moment, even everything around you went when I fell. In addition, the direct enhanced meaning means falling head on and flat on the street. Okay? And of course, there are worse interpretation, which I, I, can't, I can't use it in church. So basically, what happened to me, so you know, next. Well, the doctor say because of my fall, that part of me, if you can see on this uh, graph, you can see the white spot going through on top of the bottom. But in between there, that white uh, gap is no longer there or very small now. This is from the MRI scan or CT scan. But this also could happen according to some of our brothers here, due to aging, you know, as you get older. so. So when you, no, thank you for your prayer, when you do pray for me, do, do specify, no, I try to be specific in prayer, pray for Andy's bone section between C5 and C2 to recover. <laughs> Next. Okay, for all those Avenger fans, you guys know that the last movie, Avengers totally lost and was perished, right? They lost it. And last week, or a few days earlier before I fell, the creator Stan Smith also passed away, right? Died. Stan Lee, sorry. Stan Lee also died. So before he died, just to tell you guys, he created a new hero, which is going to come in the next Avenger movie, it's going to save all the Avengers. Next, please. And guess who is that? <laughs> That's the next and new Avenger. Watch out for him. Okay? So, it's the first time you're going to see it. I believe I'm in secret negotiation with Marvel Studio. 
the name you guys, I mean the young ones, please come up with the name. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe the disciples. Okay? So. And next, actually I fell right in front of the, the, the entrance here. So, being the Avenger, who was more badly hurt? You look at me now, just now. Next. So look at the pavement. It's, it's fixed now, not actually no. And I, if, if that was that, I'm sure uh, YMC or the government would send us a bill to fix the pavement. And lesson I learned, because when I had the accident, the, uh, either the, the guy who helped me up or the, uh, or the uh, 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 hotel called the uh, 91999. So I was taken to the uh, government hospital. I just I learned that for those who don't know, when you once you call that uh, uh, white van, you, you they can't go anywhere. You can't go to a private. You're on the system, so you have to go to the uh, government hospital. If you want to go private and you are and you are sick, you have to call St John Ambulance. That will take you to any of your preferred hospital. So in the private hospital, what do I learn? Well, you can't call the nurses Miss or Xiao Jie or Xiu Jie. For them, when you call them Xiu Jie, it means those in tiny skirt, short dress, you know, they get very upset. They'll say, no, here there are no Xiu Jie. You call me Gu Niang. Gu Niang. Okay, keep that in mind because she wasn't happy when I called Xiao Xiu Jie. No, there's no Siu Jie here. And then, when you're in the private, I mean government hospital, when you are in pain, just the, the nurse will say, oh, you hold the pain, don't move. Because if you move, it will be in greater pain. Okay? There's no mercy shown there at all. Next. I, being an accountant, I always found that it's silly and stupid to buy a jeans <laughs> that are torn. But now, after last Sunday's incident, I have a free one. <laughs> How about that? For facts. These are all facts. I'm not kidding any one of you. These are all facts. Apart from the Avenger movie, I guess. And Sister Edith, Pastor Edith, I'm going to say sorry because every year you have the Jerusalem trips. I'm doing something faster than you, earlier than you this year. Next. So those who want to get a face upgrade, which I need now, I'm arranging uh, Korea trips. So those who want to come along, you can uh, talk to my wife or Sister Samantha. <laughs> okay? So don't be shy, no? I, I did it now. So no, I, I, no, I don't want to go there alone. So please no consent. Sorry, Pastor I beat you to it this year. And, and there are of course a lot of international churches in uh, in Korea. So so these are basically the facts. Okay, keep that in mind. So nobody uh, asks you about what happened to Andy, Bukai. Very straightforward. And these are all the things that happened. Okay, here, now the real story. Last Sunday, actually, I, I, I you know, like for the last 14, 15 years, I just walked to church and, you no, know, and I, instead of crossing, you know, in front of our YMCA, instead of crossing the, the uh, zebra crossing when the uh, green light came on, I took the diagonal, you know, the, you know, and, and I walked fast as usual, and I kicked my, uh, I kick the curb somewhat because the curb, because it goes lower as, as, you, as it's closer to the entrance of the car. I kick the curb and I flew and I landed. Fell on. And, and when I, the moment I landed, I couldn't, no, I couldn't, I could get up. I could get up. Uh, uh, so very quickly somebody, uh, uh, grabbed me from the back, and I, I think the first I saw was some uh, you know, Filipino sisters and, uh, and Josh and I think uh, the, the sister who came. 
uh, say get 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 penny but for that very few minutes I couldn't feel the anything below my neck. I seriously thought for those few minutes anyone was gonna be paralyzed for ever. Because when, when this happened to you, in those few minutes, all the million thoughts would come into your mind, especially all the negative things, because there was no, no nobody to... You know, and, 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 and you know, they were just trying to pull me up. And as I was pulled up, I, I, I didn't know, but I started to be you know, able to... because uh, of the blood from my nose, I started to... My hand, I started to feel a bit of my hand so I could wipe the uh, blood off, but I could still not feel my leg. So when, when the guys pulled me out, I said, I can get me a chair to sit. So when I was sitting in the chair, I was totally, no black, just in, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't do anything about my hand. Because my leg still hadn't come back yet. And when Penny came down, and a lot of the, you know, Pastor Valerie came and prayed for me. And Penny reminded me and said, don't, don't, don't just call out the name of Jesus. I said, Jesus, Jesus. And my legs started shaking. And, and yes, and, and it slowly, slowly came back. No, glory to the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. It is teach me, if you have any trouble, call out to his name. It will heal you like you could never, never ever believe. And those moments was the scariest moment of my life, I must say. I could imagine those people who were like, you know, like a few weeks ago when the uh, when the plane came down in uh, in Indonesia, the lions. Uh, eh, imagine the moment before it hit. What went through all the people's mind, knowing that they were not going to survive that accident. And that exactly happened to me. I couldn't even picture Penny pushing me in the wheelchair. You know? How how scary that was. You no know one's gonna do what I'm gonna do Anthony Aaron, my family, I'm gonna be a burden. All these negatives come until I call out to the name of Jesus. And of course the prayer. And and, and yes, look, the, I went to the hospital, when the government hospital, they did all the tests. Uh, for me, but they couldn't find. Uh, you know, when when I regained my uh, my how do you say my uh, feeling, my hand was totally numb and I couldn't even grip like this. And in, and at the hospital, I think for about four, five, six hours, my grip still were not there. But they couldn't find the reason for that. So, so they, all they say is no, uh, no, you have to stay for observation. So for me, since I have to stay, I might as well move to a private hospital. So I, I said, no, get, uh, no, let me sign on and no immediate orders. The other thing, when you're in government hospital, I, I saw, happened to a few guys, the guy was had a kidney problem or whatever. And the doctor said, you have to fix it. Said, no, I don't want to okay, Just sign a letter saying that you are ready to take your own risk, you can leave. So that's the government hospital in Hong Kong. So even if you're stabbed and you're bleeding, and you sign that, I'm okay, they will let you walk out of the hospital. Okay? So keep that in mind. So as long as you sign, so we sign and 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 and, 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 and no, we, we we left the hospital. So during that week now, as I as I check into uh, 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 that this now over the week I regained my my grip. But this hand probably about eighty percent I think, and this hand still probably fifty percent only. But the feeling and praise God as I pray to you and you guys pray. He heard you even louder than ever. So during that week, the time that I, I actually you know, was in hospitals from, uh, I think about 2, I mean, I felt about 2.15, 2.30. But I was in the hospital 3 something until about, what, 7 o'clock before we went to uh, 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 you know, Baptist. So during the time, I was in Baptist and I only came out on uh, Thursday afternoon. So during that time in, uh, in Baptist, I spent the longest time with God that I ever did. I used to, no, I mean, I'm known for, I don't know whether you heard from Atelier and Penny, I'm a, I'm a tech, no, a, 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 a TV maniac. 
back. I always love to watch the news because I, I hate not knowing what happened in the world. But ever since I got to the hospital, I, I never watched the TV. I never touched the TV. It didn't matter to me anymore during that time. And the second thing too, as I look back, I see you know, the experience that you know, from the moment I felt till today, his hands on me in different places that I'll share with you later. But of course, the most important thing, the love I felt you know, from the family and all of you brothers and sisters in Christ. You know, I really, really, really thank you for that. And from there I heard, I learned that you pray and hang on to his promises. But I believe that my hand will heal and praise the God every moment of the day. Every moment of the day. Next. So, yes, I fell right in from the church. And normally coming to a church is a good thing, right? And yet I fell right in front of the church. So, I thought, you, know, you could sometimes wonder why. But I learned during, you know, during those few days, you know, I still have to trust God. Even when I don't understand the circumstances that we are in sometimes. I never doubt Him. And the reasons are going to get clearer. And the next one, as I said, I believe in that. If God brings you to it, He will bring you through it. Amen. 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 Keep that. No, these are the promises that we have to hang on to. Okay. Next. So, is this the second time God saved me? 911, the first, last Sunday, the second. Then I look at the Bible, no? in, in, in Matthew 18 21. Peter asked Jesus, How many times should you forgive his brother? Peter thought maybe seven times might be a fair limit. But Jesus says 70 times seven. I, no, of course, I don't think Jesus meant literally 490, but rather a number that cannot be counted. Now, why I say that? When I look back, I don't believe that was the second time Jesus saved me. I believe Jesus saved me and every one of us again and again and again. Every second of the day, every moment that we live, that we breathe. You know, we could have avoided many accidents that we did not know. Or, no, or He kept us away from Him. So, when I sit down, in those few days, I realized that He has saved me at my age. If I'm 51 now, if He saved me one time a day, He would have saved me 450,000 plus times. That's only one time each day since the day I was born. Amen? Amen. So, never count your blessing as they say because it's unlimited because we've been blessed with God's love and care and protection every moment that we breathe and live never ever as underestimate that next so no, like a series of tiny miracles Take them to notice them. No? We may never know. No? Every day, as I said, no? take time to reflect on what happened in life. And you may see that miracles that no, God saved you or God no, took you away from something bad that you don't even not aware of. And He's consistently doing that to us without and and, and, and sad to say, like me myself. We never thought about it and never appreciated it until it happened to us. But He is there all the time, all the way, every moment of the day. The next one. 
the love of God and the church. I, when I fell, I think it was about between 2.15 and 2.30. And that was the time when I looked back to the church, when I was reading, when I was watching the church service, that you guys were worshipping, and then I saw you know, Raymond took the, took the mic and, and prayed. And that's probably the time too, you know, when sis, Pastor Valerie and all the brothers were praying. That's when I recovered. I could not have picked a better time to book I. I book guy at the best possible time when the whole church was praying. If you guys were not here, there may be lack of prayers that but I really even book guy, I book at the best time. Okay? But you know, the love of the church and the prayers. As, as I said, no, I was momentary. I felt really paralyzed. And it was the scariest moment of my life. And at that time, ambulance not here. I had no medication, no doctor, no expert, no, no, there was no, nobody there. Even doc, I think Dr. Evelyn wasn't here to help me. And all I had was the prayer of the church. And that was all the medication that I needed yes. at yes. that very moment. Yes. Yes. So, I'm not saying that everything happened to you. Remember, anything you want to do between 2.15 and 4 o'clock, <laughs> it's a good time to do it. <laughs> if you want to you know, do parachuting, you know, uh, uh, you know, sit this knee, uh, you know, taking the thing, make sure you do it when it's you time it before you get on it. And and no tell the church that I'm I'm doing this now, please pray for me. <laughs> and no if, if pastor or the or the or the leader announce it, you'll be covered, well protected. Amen. And, and I heard from uh, uh, Sister Rovi. I think there was somebody who didn't even know me was praying. Amen to that. All the glory to the Lord. No? And these are prayers that goes further. No, I think it's louder that our, our Father can hear. Amen. 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 And, and the love of this church, a lot of times no, we, 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 we don't realize it. Or, or no, we don't we don't feel it, or no, we, 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 we don't sense it for brothers and sisters. After I felt, I truly felt the love of the church. And uh, Christ Jesus, of course. And I still remember about what, three, four weeks ago, when our, one of our sister Moira from Malaysia came up and shared. And she only been with our church for, I think, two months, right? She had been coming for two months because of her work here. And it was, she was crying buckets in front. You know, feeling the love of this church. And I was crying too for many of the nights. Every time I remember this. And you know, it was tears of joy. Not tears of sadness because of the love. So what our Pastor John and Valerie has through him a lot and still this church that we should never, ever, ever forget is the love. No, even with the, no what, Panisha with the Cornerstone Ministry, or whatever, Ministry. If today that you've been with Calvary for so long, I'm saying that, if you have never felt the love of this church, something's wrong. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. You have to be, you have to know. The church, you know, the love of the church, the church, the love of our Father Jesus through this church. I mean, the love just doesn't come from, you know, it's not like husband and wife. The love comes from Him through yes. someone here. And it grows on you. And that's one thing that 
says that you all have to realize that you are never alone. You never will be fighting the battle alone with this church. Amen? Amen. And there are many verses to tell you about God's love. In Deuteronomy 7, 9, know that, therefore, that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love Him and keep His commandment to a thousand generations. Psalm 36, 7, how precious is your unfailing love, O God. Psalm 86, 5, you, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call you. And when I call out on his name, he really hurt me. But you, O Lord, are God, a God of merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Psalms 86, 15. And a lot you find in the Bible. <coughs> Next. As I said, the timing of my, of my fall. But, although I mentioned that no all the Avengers are perish, but brothers and sisters, the pastor, you guys are the real Avenger. When you pray up here, it was really working on me down there on the road. I regained my consciousness. You guys are the Avengers. So, never ever underestimate the power of your prayer. Yes. Especially when you're in the, you know, we have men's group, we have prayer group and all that. When you pray for someone, never thought that, ah, I don't know this guy. He has a problem so far away. What can I do? I think, what you, honestly, you have that kind of feeling, like every time we see a prayer come up in a, something like in a group, that come to your mind. Hey, saints, you saw and worship what happened to me as I stand here. Never think for a moment that your prayers are useless, have no weight and no impact on the situation that whoever is seeking help. Your prayers goes a long, long way. Amen. Amen. I'm standing here now. And like I said, in that very moment, I couldn't take, there were no pills for me. No, there were no, no ambulance hadn't arrived. And all I had at that very moment, apart from calling out to his name, was your prayers. So keep in mind, Adjust your clock between 2.15 and 5 on Sunday, wherever you are, take risks. <laughs> not, 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 I said calculate the risk, okay? Take risks. Approved by insurance company, which uh, Brother David can explain to you. Otherwise, you won't get paid. It's very true. The next, how about this verse? Isn't it very true? 2 Kings 20 verse 5, I heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. Amen. 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 And those words, when I read it, I mean, this didn't come to me. It was somebody, I think one of my sister posted in the Facebook during those few days. It is so, so true that don't discount any part of the Bible, as it says here. When we pray, and when I was praying down, He truly, truly hurt me. Hurt my cry. Know how scared I was. And He healed me day by day. So it shows next God can turn around any situation. Amen. 
whatever situation you are in today, no matter how difficult, how tough, how painful, how alone, He can turn it around. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. I hope what I'm saying is helpful to all of you. Because it's what I... And also too, as I said, there were no medication, nothing. No, you can't wait for your... Oh, no, don't touch me. Wait for the ambulance to arrive. Oh, don't, don't talk to me. No. Prayer is not our last resort. It's our first. Yes. Whatever, whatever happened to you, pray. I think during that time uh, when Penny, you know, Pastor Val, Brother Clyde, you know, Brother Yves, and many others prayed. And when they prayed in time, I, you, know, you know how busy that place is underneath us with the tour buses. I mean, those people must be thinking, what are these people doing? <laughs> What are these people saying when Pastor Will was praying in tongues? But I hope it show the people who are working around. When you know when you're in moment of needs, when there's no no doctors, I said no professional help. The prayer when everybody was laying their hands on me, save me and heal me. I don't know whether there's a reason for me to fall right in front of the you know, YMC or the church. We know so many you know, tourists around. But, like I said, there are reasons for everything that happened. Next, don't do anything without God. You know, Pastor John preached many years ago about familiarity lead to complacency. I've been coming to church for lots, 15 years, taking more or more or less the same route. So I guess like many of us, when you do something so often, you think that you are doing it on your own. I believe for many times, and that moment, I was so confident of myself that I've been walking this road for the last 15 or whatever years. How could I go wrong? And when Brother Yif and, uh, and, and Brother Jason were visiting me, they remind me that those confidence times are the time that we probably took, I took Jesus out of my mind, out of my head, out of everything because I was so full of myself. As we see, no, in American, where they are shooting in the school, and no, I remember reading, no, one asked him what the pastor, and the pastor said, "You took Jesus out of the school. How can he protect you?" Yes. Exactly what happened to me. I must have taken Jesus out of my thought, my mind, for those few moments, and look at what happened to me, saints especially the young one, you have to stop watching and listening to music, you no, know, with your earplugs as you walk and watch movies, because those are definite, definite time that you guys are taking Jesus and the Lord out of your life. So, from this, you know, sometimes we think, Wow, such a small thing, just walking to church. Do you need Jesus? Oh, I'm just going to the toilet. Do you need Jesus? I'm just printing a piece of paper. Do you need Jesus? Yes. In everything, we need Jesus. Amen? Everything that you do, make sure He is part of it. No matter how easy and simple. Make sure you involve Jesus in everything that you need to do. Especially, I think another thing that we always do wrong is when we speak, we're always very fast, we judge, 
We, 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 we say things that we regret and we can never take back. You know why? Because we never pray before we open our big fat mouth. And that's where you run into big trouble again and again. And you hurt people without knowing again and again and again. So pray for His wisdom and protection upon you in everything that you do. And I sincerely mean saying after what happened to me, I really mean every single thing that you do. Bring him along. Have him in your mind. Amen? Amen. Next. Just the location. Again, right in front of the church. I travel a lot with my work. I could have been in China, in Indonesia, or other parts of Hong Kong. But I fell right in front of the church. And and no, because I sometimes drop off a penny you know, when we go to church. I always complain of all those buses uh, in the location wise, I think it's this, this way. Always park uh, between Peninsula Hotel and YMCA blocking the road. Oh, this bus always blocking the way, blah, 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 blah. So many tourists. Hey, man, if not for them. I mean, uh, Brother Josh is not here. I looked up and saw Brother Josh. I said, no way he's going to be able to carry me, man. <laughs> and there were two big guys who, who distribute leaflets to the, to the no, tour and the tourists who was there, who really kept the energy or the power to lift me up and set me up in the chair. Because even the YMC, I mean, nothing to them. Those who came up were all... <laughs> Because during that time, when, when I dropped, I was really, 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 I don't know, I was really heavy. So, things like that, we sometimes see as obstacles in life. Hey, saints, never complain anything. <laughs> if it weren't for the tourists and the tour bus down there, there would have been no one strong enough to really pick me up. I really have to wait for Brother Abraham, I have to call it, bring Abraham down, <laughs> bring Bouquet down, no, bring all the brothers down, I should be saying that. <laughs> because that was the only way I was going to pick up. And if I fell in, in Indonesia, and most of the guys are skinny there, <laughs> or lacking generally, I would be on the street for like many minutes or hours and have to wait for my own recovery before I can come up. Of course, in some places, when you fall, you probably they rob you clean before they even pick you up. <laughs> it's the truth. So I could not have picked a better location, man. <laughs> that is the blast spot <laughs> to book I tell you. <laughs> There's no better place to book I from there in front of the church. <laughs> if you book anywhere, even the toilet, nobody will see you. I was in the middle of the tour bus. I think I had a lot of people taking photos probably. <laughs> Amen. And in Hong Kong, of course, the ambulance came within like 15, 20 minutes. I was taken care of. When they, you know, when they you know, put, did all the tests to me, it really you know, gave me the confidence back, which I needed because I was so scared at the moment. And, and no, like I said, it's really God's hand in everything. Because even when I went to the, uh, the general hospital, I think you guys are, 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 are used to hearing that the Hong Kong general hospital system are very slow. You are on the waiting list for months or years before you get something done. Yes. Hey, saints, I, I got two x-ray done and one CT done, scan done within two hours after I was there. <laughs> Nobody can do that apart from God. Yes. His hand was all over the place. I mean, apart from the Gu Leong thing. <laughs> and another thing too, why I did the two uh, 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 x-ray. Have you guys done x-ray before? Anybody done x-ray? Can you put your hand up? Those who done x-ray before? 
So normally when you walk into an X-ray room, what happened? Everybody disappeared in the room apart from you, right? Like they're gonna zap you and shoot you and kill you because everybody ran away, right? Yes. And then if you have not X-ray, when you're in the X-ray room, when they point that thing at you and stand between that and the board, everybody disappeared yes. apart from you yourself. Because the first X-ray couldn't see part of my uh, my my structure. When I did the second X-ray, do you believe the doctor from the hospital came into my room and pulled my pulled my hand when they took the X-ray? If that is not God, why would somebody in general hospital come in for somebody who doesn't know and stand in the face of you know I don't know danger or? whatever the x-ray gives them, and pull my hand when I took the x-ray. That has to be Jesus, man. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. And I was so surprised the doctor came in, because they took the photo and just cannot, could not get the angle he wanted. So the guy waited and waited, and boy went and told the doctor, hey, ain't happening, man. That guy, if I shoot him a few more times, next he may die. <laughs> so the doctor came in, and he actually pulled my hand when they are doing the x-ray, and everybody disappeared. Hey, if that is not God, uh, Jesus, Jesus our God, who is that? He barely knew me. Every time he had was two minutes to read my report and talk to me, and then to disappear to save the next case. That's General Hospital, unfortunately. But he was willing to come out all the way to the X-ray room and pull my hand when I was doing the X-ray to make sure that he got the angle that he wanted to see you know, how I was doing. Praise the Lord, man. Praise the Lord. So, in Hong Kong, when I tell a lot of people what happened to me, they said, you are so lucky. Right? Most people out there will say, Andy, you are so lucky. Hey man, I don't believe in luck. I believe in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. There's no such thing as luck. I don't know whether you can say I was ordained to fail right in front of the church. But now, today, I think I'm one of the most popular guys in YMCA. I don't know because of the crack I made in the, in, the, in the pavement, or they're worried that I sue them, or whatever, I don't know. But, but yes, thank you Lord you know, for, for His blessing. So it's all about timing, man. As next, as we as we as we read the Bible, there's a time for everything and a season for every activity on the heavens. So even that moment I felt, I believe it's God's time. Although we try to make it, but you couldn't. I don't know. I mean, from that. Because everybody knew that like, I worked for a major company, I was an like, executive director, blah, 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 blah. But that few minutes when I was there, it didn't matter who I was. It didn't matter who I was. It was God's timing to, I think even as I learned, humble myself. It doesn't matter who you are and what you are, what position you hold. Yeah. When things happen to you, you are the same as everyone else. Yes. Yes. And keep that in mind. Not that I fell there, a Rolls Royce will come and take me, or Mercedes will come and take me. I still take the same white car to the hospital. In the car, the white ambulance still go through the same traffic jam, blah, 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 blah. I still get to see the same doctor, didn't matter. But the timing, it's all God's timing, I'm telling you, that you learn. He made everything beautiful in this time. Even though I look like that, I believe I'm, I'm handsome. <laughs> After the Korea trip, you should see me. <laughs> and you'll be asking, who is the Lang Chai outside the ushering? <laughs> Standing next to Penny. In this time, he will make things beautiful. And and all of you, brothers and sisters, you are beautiful. When you pray, that's when you're the most beautiful. And it says in Lamentation 3, 26, God is good to those who hope in Him, 
to the one who seeks him, it is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. When you seek him, I think that's, that's when you are the most beautiful. And that's his time. There are many verses next that uh, no about God's timing. I I no I in view of time I I no I will skip that. But like I said, next protection from from God. As I said, all the buses, all the things that prevent you from going forward or moving. All this normally we you no know, hardly sometimes we actually say the you no know, we curse it. We don't say bad things you know, over it normally when something like that happens. But there's a plane delay or things are happening to your plan, blah, 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 blah. Keep in mind, saints, these are all protection from God. For the few days when I sat there, I, I learned to see a lot of things that I didn't do or didn't happen to me. It was because of his delay. Especially, I think, 9-11 is a very classic case. I was booked on that flight on, on Friday. Before that, I got a call that you know, we have a meeting that morning, so I changed my ticket and I didn't book that flight. But, think, saints, carefully and seriously about all the misses, something didn't happen. Never ever curse or blame the bus driver. How come I think classic case is the three, the three kind of people who shout at the most? The taxi driver, the green bus driver, and the big bus driver. Right? Because of the way they drive and the way they do. Saints, next time just say hallelujah. <laughs> it could be preventing you from something you never know. Okay, so next time all this unfortunate thing or thing happen, Instead of saying the X, Y, Z, no, whatever that came to your mind, please say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Even though you upset me, but I still thank you. And I praise you. And he did send this angel uh, next. This guy, he uh, found him. I don't know where brother he found him. Yesterday, brother Eve? Friday or? Yes. He's, he was one of the guys who, uh, who lifted me up. Yeah, he was one of the, I think his uh, pamphlets or, or bus tour, I don't know, promoter or, 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 or I don't know. Uh, Brother Yves can, can tell me later. But him and another guy, I, I just now went to have a look there one day. These are angels. These are real angels. Of course, our, pastor, our brother Yves is an angel. Amen? Amen? Amen. Hello, hallelujah. But, bread! <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Uh, when I go to Korea, if I don't bring your photo with them, I want to look like that. <laughs> but, yes, you never know who are the angels around you. you know, it really taught me to be humble that. All the people that I sometimes don't hide are always here blocking my road, making me so have to avoid. That's why actually, because I, I, I took the time away, I was trying to avoid all the people crossing the zebra crossing. Next time I have to really fall on the zebra crossing. They walk humbly. You know, even though this, no, I don't know, old lady or whatever in front of me, I, I better walk behind her. You know. She may be protecting me, man. Amen. Amen. <laughs> hey, no kidding. This is true. I know it happened to me. So keep that in mind. Next. And also this all came up. God will let you walk into an uncomfortable situation where all you can do is rely on him. Don't be anxious. He's about to show his faithfulness. Like I said, the moment in the chair. Saints, what the scariest moment of my life. I never knew that he was testing me. You, never, you could never talk about that at the moment. But your prayers in his name, that was all I had. All I had at that moment. And many times, brother and sister, 
when you are in difficulties and troubles, that's all you're going to have. Somebody else praying for you, or you pray for yourself, in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep that in mind. And never underestimate the power of God in His name. Amen? Amen. So, summary of my testimony, thanks. This is true, this should be the, uh, the title, rather than what happened to Eddie. <laughs> and it's okay, next time if somebody asks you what happened to your brother Eddie, he put guy, it's okay. I'm, 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 not, I'm not taken, I'm not like, upset when you say that to him, okay? Especially when you explain to a Chinese guy, he will, Tom, it will, like I said, no, we Chinese said one, what they call one needle, one injection, see blood, straight to the point. As it said, when you said my my brother did put that. But as I said, no God, I think through these few days, I I, I, I have to recognize that God saved me time and time again. I don't know how. Many. It was that wasn't the second. Definitely not the second. But I will. For my own sake, I will be looking at the date 11 again. I'm not sure when every 11 of every month I should stay home. <laughs> stay in my bed. And don't do anything. Okay? So I will have to get over that. And, and really pray on the 11 of every day, every month. The second thing is, never discount God's love. And God's love, like I said, no? When you when you're in my situation, you you truly feel it. But I'm not saying that you guys have to get hurt like me to be able to feel it. It's here in this church. It's probably the next person next to you. Love is there. Throughout our, our pastors, our leaders. You just have to open up. And you will feel it, and you will know it. Amen? Amen. Well, tell the guy next to you, next to you, thank you for your love. 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 Amen? Oh, Brother Kai is here. Thanks, Brother Kai. Thank you, thank you. He, 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 he was one of those who was strong enough to lift me up. If not for him too, I, I know I will be in a different situation. <coughs> yes, believe in God's timing. You ask for things, you pray for things. When it hasn't happened, and even when, I, I hate to say it, even when bad things happen to you, Try to see that God is trying to teach me something. You know, God is you know, trying to mold me, trying to set me up so to to to, know, to to do something that I thought I could not. Not not see all some of obstacles and all oh, right. I you know I tie, I give offering, I come to the church. Yet this still happens. I know one thing I actually never ever. Everything that happens to us, firstly of course. We believe is the word that works. When you take God off your mind, the devil comes in. When you walk around with, you know, with your headphone on, listening to music, mm-hmm. talking on the phone, no, like, of course no, God cannot be there, right? Where got room for God when you're doing that, right? <laughs> you cannot do two things for, for no two things at one time. Or men are able, because I know ladies maybe too. Men definitely one thing at one time. <laughs> so Even you know when you listen to me, watch TV or so, say, darling, can I have some water, please? Right? Men are no good. Men are really no good. Okay? I know about ladies, so make sure everything that you do. Okay? God's timing. And God is really everything. Like I said, in the hospital, everywhere, you just have to look deeper, closer, and don't judge. Of course, I mean, to me, it was rather extreme. At the uh, at the general hospital, it was 
move, you move, it will be even more painful. More painful. Don't join yoke or tom di lai. Move your arm. Okay. And that injection, I tell you, the the, the injection gave me numbness on my upper lip. That was painful. That was really painful. But when I moved over to、uh, Baptist, Kenny was sitting next to me. Oh, when they was, they were, you know, changing all the all the all the my face and all that. Oh, she was so nice. I think she was Jesus too. Don't move. It's okay. You're painful. Let me let me see. And oh, that was tender, loving care. I think I don't know if Penny wanted to strangle her. <laughs> But to me, I said, "Don't, don't, don't, guys, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus." <laughs> well, well, somebody said, "Is that your happy?" This is look good. Look at him. How can anybody want him that? That I look at him. Remember, remember that picture? Nobody would want that. So that was God. He is everywhere. You just have to recognize it, feel it. And see it, Amen. Amen. And yes, as I said, let God be everything that you do. Okay, I don't know how small what your lives are going through, how you know the things that you do day in day out. I guess that's why we pray before we eat, isn't it? Because we eat every day. We've been eating since we were, you know, sucking on on on, on milk when we were baby. So something that normal we we pray. So why can't we do the same thing in other things? Give thanks, recognize him, let him in. I remember when I was、uh, young, I went to、uh, you know, I was boys brigade. I remember so much. I really remember. Now I know that song came to me last few days. Walking with Jesus, walking every day, walking every way. Walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus every day. Right? That song came to me. I said yes. I need to sing that from now on as I walk. <laughs> Anybody remember the song? I did. I, I don't know when you heard it. I, I did when I was boys because we were much walking with Jesus, walking every day, <laughs> walking everywhere. So I, the song came back to me. I never. I forgot about that song for all these donkey years. And then when I pray that song, no, Jesus, what song should I be singing? What? Walking with Jesus. <laughs> No place for me to pray. I really seriously pray in the toilet. That's why I say my prayer. I, I, not for me. God is everywhere. I don't have to be worried about has to be in a five star room or room with air condition that would be very comfortable. No, I pray. Don't、no, give me the wisdom to say the right thing. Do the right thing. Don't protect me. Don't protect my mouth because I don't say the wrong. Just the worst thing is, like I said earlier, saying the wrong thing. Instead of saying all the ooh, wah 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 that you know, God, teach this mouth have no pride and to be like you. And the last, of course, praise Him, praise God always, praise Him everything that you do, even when I fail, I still praise God. I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you what I, how I praise later. But I was praising God. Penny was there with me, she knew. And、uh, thanks. So as as I recover now, thanks. As I recover now, I was going through the Bible and I found this verse: For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Out of power and of love and of a sound mind, Second Timothy one. That's what I claim now because as I 
as my head recovers, I need to believe. Yeah. All that, that I have today, the power I'm going to get back to. You know, I'll share with some brothers just now. I don't know, Dr. General, you live over here? When I asked him, how will I be? He said, you know, Andy, you may have to get used to not being who you used to be in terms of my uh, grip and, and, and power, and maybe I'm slower too. So I said, no, you have to get used to it. You have to learn that. And you know, if you cannot take that, because you are like 80% here, 60% there, one of the options to consider was an operation on my neck here. But hell, I'm not, I'm not going to do that, man. No way. I'm going to believe in this healing. But then I went to the physio. The physio guy was really good. The guy because I said, Mr. Wong, don't worry. If you do physio and you not gain your confidence, you can be who you are again. And when I heard that, I said, how do you do that? Those were the words that I needed. And like I said, he's everywhere. Somebody will tell you and give you encouragement words like that. Next. Uh, Next, yeah, like I said, no, all I can do now <coughs> is seriously all I can do now for my full recovery is pray and talk to him. Because all the pain, all the medication that they're giving me, I'm not healing my back, they're just painkillers, no, uh, uh, no, no sleeping pills as well. There's nothing for my back here, there's really nothing. Sister X, yep. so that's all I can do now. And I'm claiming this as my only medication. As I pray and I don't give up, I pray that in a, in a few months I can shake your hand like I used to. I can, I can do all the things like I used to. Not less. And, and I, I'm going to be, I'm going to claim it. I'm going to be even stronger than I used to be. Right? Otherwise, how am I going to be the next Avenger? Right? I have to save all the Avengers in trouble now. So I have to be stronger and better. And we've, of course, you look after my my Korea trip. <laughs> next, uh, yeah. When you pray, these are the areas that I know came across me that I thought, no, pray for protection. Prayer changes things, the situation you're in. Prayer keeps you the will of God, right? Prayers draw you closer because you're talking to God all the time. The more you talk to Him, the more you hear Him. And prayer makes you happy, right? True? Anybody felt that, that prayers actually make you happy? Right? Because today you know you are relieved, you can't ever say what, what, you're, no, what you couldn't say. It gives you hope, of course, then you know what you pray for. In His time, you come. And prayer also make you less selfish, as I said. For somebody who don't even know me, pray for me and he will have nothing. Prayer makes us less selfish. Of course, prayer heals you from all your pain. It makes us spiritually strong. Next. Yes. As I said, song can change a moment. An idea for a big deal. One step can change the journey where you go, but a prayer changed the impossible. Amen. Keep that in mind. A prayer can change the impossible. I think for that very moment, I thought I was never going to recover. It would be impossible for me to recover. But yet, As we pray, next. Dear God, today I woke up, I'm healthy, I'm alive, 